You ever look at all the games in your backlog and be like, I really should start playing these. And then you start looking for something new to play. That's how I found this. So let's talk about it, dudes. Yet another Zombie Defense HD is a top-down arcade zombie shooter with a tactical strategy element. Build some defensive barricades, buy guns and ammo, set up turrets, and stay alive as long as you can. Each night, put your skills to the test as the darkness forces become stronger with each wave, and it features local and online co-op up to four players, automated turrets and traps, and a variety of weapons including shotguns, rocket launchers, flamethrowers, pistols, alien ray guns, snipers, ARs and much more. There's two modes currently Defense and Endless and they both have matchmaking and single player editions. Which caught me by su surprise about this game is that on the outside it looks like a funky crusty shit crumb on the side of the road but when you actually fire it up and give it a chance it did put some smiles on my face. I played solo which was very boring and I was like this is not the way and then I went to check out the online and to my surprise there was actually people playing online and it was actually multiple multiple groups that I could join and as it's a drop in drop out type of online multiplayer it made it very easy to get into some new matches on the fly however sometimes if the host loses connection briefly or just quits in general the whole party drops and that makes it not fun but within two seconds later you can be in another match and I don't know if it's cross play or cross progression all I know is that I was on the PS5 playing this another zombie defense HD isn't revolutionary by all means but it is a great and cheap very cheap price for some mind-numbing action and with it being on PS now at the time of this review which is how I even discovered it and played it there's no reason not to at least give it a shot and let it surprise you as it did for me the zombies are not stupid as they are fast and will swarm you and group on you as your team grows in levels and as you get uh, further throughout the nights of survival you must start using strategies if you want to make it because then mutants will pop up and put the boots on you there is different characters to choose from uh, <clears throat> But it doesn't do anything other than a quick cosmetics change, so you can look different and find yourself out of everyone else through the online uh, multiplayer. There's leveling up, and, and it's very limited because it just gives you stats where you can use, like, your level experience to buy, like, faster reloading or more health, etc. And there's money that you can use to buy upgrades as in more weapons or uh, wooden barricades or turrets and... Just to help you survive and slay some zombies. Uh, the game does get repetitive, which obviously any cheap game like this would. And it's a simple goal is just survive. So at the very end of the day, if you just want to slay some zombies and not worry about countless other things that plague the video gaming nowadays, you could give this one a shot. Like I said, it doesn't break the mold. It's just a simple pick up and play where other games, you know, you pick it up and play and then you have like 800 icons on the screen, 20 side quests all at once, main story. This is just something that is like you have a goal, do the goal, play with some friends, have some fun. We here at NGI give another yet another Zombie Defense HD a 6 out of 10. Make sure you stay up to date with all the latest in gaming tech news and reviews. Smash that like and as always, subscribe. Oh, that's a